Howdy doodle strudel guys, uh, here, me, me here back again with another little video. May, it's been a while I know, it always is, uh, well lately anyway, but I had a lot go, have, <laughs> I've had a lot going on. Um, but I thought I'd make this quick one here just to show you the capabilities of my solar system because I'm pretty impressed with this. Um, so I can't be bothered doing the maths now, I should know off by heart but I don't. But I've got a lot of solar panels. So I've got that array there. We've got solar panels covering the roof here. And you see, as you can see there, if I can, I'm not real tall, but you can see there's solar panels there. And then obviously we've got solar panels over the deck. And then I've got solar panels on the chook shed. So, yeah, well, chook shed slash storage shed, I'll put all kinds of crap in there. Um, but um, long story short, I've got a decent amount of solar, <coughs> and I've got a half-decent uh, battery bank as well, because I'll just take you, just have a little look at that. <laughs> I've got to build, I'm actually, the future video coming up very soon, once I get the money to build, buy the materials, is building a battery cabinet, a proper battery cabinet so you can store your lead batteries in it because I've just been storing my lead batteries in this old wooden cupboard here. And because this old wooden cupboard has been out in the weather, I'm just trying to get this door open. That's jammed. Oh, come on. Okay, jammed amongst all the weeds here growing in front of it from all the rain, but we've got, you know, that you actually want to show you, see, the shelves are collapsing. As you can see, these are all on, it's hard to see in the video, but yeah, there you go, all on a slope. Like that, see, it's all buckling and breaking. So, not very ideal to be storing batteries, but nothing's gonna short circuit, obviously. It's all fine, but I just don't want the shelf collapsing completely. But anyway, so we've got batteries up here. Uh, these are, some second-hand ones I picked up, and these big grey ones are all brand newies. Not second-hand ones, brand newies. So I picked them up for a really good price. Um, got them for like cost price, basically. Uh, keep an eye. That's why you keep an eye out on like Facebook Marketplace and Gumtree and all those places because you always get good bargains. But anyway, got all of them. Got all of them. Um, all of that and. As you can see, we're currently sitting at 23.7. Now the reason why it's sitting at 23.7 is during the full sun, is not because my system's shitty and it doesn't work, it's because there's something rather impressive um, it's running right now. And it's a question a lot of people will have when running an off-grid power system is, can you run a, let's just see it, air conditioner so this is a portable unit but yes you can run an air conditioner I've been running this little bad boy for about oh over an hour now and the system is working fine as you can see the batteries are sit not sitting at full charge because it's a bit of sag happening obviously but this thing is running full blast can pump it where is it pump it right down and it's ice cold, ice cold coming out of that system. I've just got it rigged up, yeah, it's a bit of a mess in here at the moment. <laughs> but it's, you can see it, this lovely, it's sitting at 28 degrees in here. Um, it was about 31 or 32 before I put the air conditioner on. Um, but yeah, this is, yeah, I haven't got a timer to show you how long I had it running, but you just have to take my word for it. Hello, possum. Cool, just kit. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, you can run an air conditioner on an off-grid power system, and I'm going to take you for a little walk outside in real time to prove to you that the generator isn't running. So let's go for a little walk. See? Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so we'll trot out here. This is, I suppose, not really necessary, but it's literally just to prove to you. So we'll walk out here. The air conditioner is still running because there's the exhaust. 
blowing out the window. Hello, shit bag. That's shit bag. He has a satchel name. We called him that because, well, he's a bit of a shit bag and he looks like a, he's a bit inbred. Um, but he's actually kind of become our favourite rooster now. He sits on the deck sometimes and I give him cuddles and Emily gives him cuddles. He, he gets little treaties. Hey? Yeah, yeah, you're, good. you're a good boy shit bag. He's a bit of an outcast too. He doesn't quite have a flock. He doesn't have a flock of females that follow him around. He gets bullied by the other roosters. So he's a bit of an outcast. But he's a good boy. Come here. Come here, shit bag. You're not a shit bag, but you're a lot name. Okay, sorry. I'm getting sidetracked here. <laughs> um, oh, another thing I'll show you while I'm out here. Sorry, I'm getting really sidetracked here, but you get this. I haven't had a good beer in a while. I'm growing some nice big cucumbers and have a look at the size of the cucumbers you get off it. And we'll get, snap that off. They're obviously the continental type. But yeah, we've been getting loads of these big, beautiful cucumbers and delicious flavour. Just growing out of where I had the, these ties, we'll grow, I got these ties here. Got some volunteer tomatoes, all kinds of stuff still growing, but we won't talk about that here. So, yep, so there's the inverter. You can tell by the fans buzzing that it's running. And the... Uh, what's it called? The air conditioner draws about a thousand watts. So you can see here, that's that little light is AC watts, and it's about right. It's pulling a bit over a thousand watts at the moment with the TV and the um, air conditioner running. So that is adding up. But just to further proof to you, still, we'll take you down to the generator, mate. Tell this to show you the generator isn't running. And uh, just to give you a little another sneak peek, we've got the excavator booked for about three weeks from now. Um, and there's gonna be a video of me digging out all of my swales out properly in one go with a machine because I'm kind of got that far digging them by hand and went fuck hand digging because hand digging sucks and I don't like it. So I'm hiring a machine to go do that. <coughs> but um, anyway. So this would usually be if you're going <laughs> if it was actually running, but it's not. You can see, and well, the switch is to the off position, which means it's cut off from the circuit. So yeah, there you go. It's not running on the generator. It's running on the big, beautiful sky right above us. That's what that air conditioner is running off right now. Fucking just nothing but that. Nothing but the big old beautiful sun. So, yes, if there's anyone out there wondering if you can run solar, you not run solar, run an air conditioner off a solar system that is off grid, yes, you can. Um, I'll, I'll put the specs of my system in the description of this video. Uh, that way, if you want to know how to build one yourself, what to build it to, to how to run, well, anything, because I sort of figure if you can run an air conditioner, you can run anything. Oh, obviously I can't run a welder. Ooh, haven't tested that yet. Don't know if I want to do it though, but I could test it. But anyway, uh, yeah. If you build the system to my specs, you will be able to run anything. I'm not gonna say you're gonna run that air conditioner all day long. I haven't tested that yet. That'll be a future test and I'll put that in a video um, once I've actually done proper testing because I've only just actually started running the um, air conditioner off my solar system because I've never really trusted to before in the past to be honest and um, I do now so yeah I think we might leave it at that because I dribbled on about enough but we'll just uh, show you again inside with my Oh shit, son. Air conditioner running off the solar power, which comes from that. That beautiful thing in the sky right there. That is what is powering it. You can do it, guys. I built this entire thing out of nothing but secondhand solar panels, secondhand batteries. I've got new batteries now, but you don't need to use new batteries. Shit, I bought off eBay. Bit of YouTubing. 
and you got yourself an off-grid power system that'll just get you, that'll do everything you need to do like everything you need to do you can run an air conditioner you can run just about anything you can run a toaster run a microwave you know charge my little mower up it's electric you could probably even charge electric car off this system i don't know if we charge it right to full because my electric car isn't finished yet well it is finished but i've well, no it's not it's not finished <laughs> otherwise i'll be driving it um, but that unit over there, that beautiful machine, that's covered in light, that's surrounded by long grass at the moment. Eventually I'll be charging that off the solar as well, so that'll be the next test run. But like I said, a system this size, I'll say it again, you can run, you can run air conditioning, you can run anything. Alright, dribble dribble, repeat repeat, I've done enough of this shit um, over and over again. <laughs> And I'm running out of things to say, so I'll catch you the next one, uh, hopefully a bit sooner than I have been lately. Um, actually, yeah, we'll be soon because I'll be digging swales out soon, so you're having a video of that soon. So, yep, yeah. okay, catch us later, guys. Bye. Oh, like and subscribe. Nice.